Hallo meine lieben Freunde, willkommen zurück zu 3 Minutes to Midnight. Gefesselt sitzen wir hier am Matterpfahl angebunden mit unserer lieben Patty und ja, wir müssen uns irgendwie wahrscheinlich befreien. I'd love to, but my hands are tied. Casino Maker 10000. Casino Maker. We'll blow up anything in a one mile radius along with Mike's Diner. Schön. Whether it's in the blast radius or not. Commissioned by Eliza Barrett. Aha. Warning. Keep away from Betty Anderson at all costs. <lacht> I'd love to, but my hands are tied. My lips are sealed. Also muss ich mir an Ding denken, ne? Also Wolf Among Us. I'd love to, but my hands are tied. Mhm. Haufen Dreck. Ooh, a pile of dirt. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. Yar, time to dig out me booty. Aha, ein Buch. Wait, that's Mom's. Why would she bury a diary in the desert? Ich hab keine Ahnung. After seeing those underpants earlier, I'm not sure I want to know more of her secrets. Ah, who am I kidding? Let's read it. Mhm. Road to der Weg zur Wiederwahl. Kapitel 3. Wir sind in Kapitel 3 jetzt erst angekommen. Wahnsinn, das, ist, das Spiel geht nicht, ist, ist länger als gedacht, tatsächlich. Election season has arrived again. <lacht> Look, now I'm not trying to sell you anything you don't already want. This was an excellent year for the Barrett administration, as always. But even I must admit there were some minor setbacks. Tell me, now how many times has this happened to you? That you're lounging around? The closing of the radio station, for example. That was not good for my image. Oh, you know what? Because I really like this town, I am prepared to offer you. And I only have a little more than a month to make that final push for votes. That way, if any evildoer tries to come through that door... Last thing I need is some last minute surprises. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Seeing as it's you, I'll let you have up to 4% off. Yes, yes, Mr. Harvey, your vacuum cleaner sound lovely. <laughs> uh, uh a a actually it's uh it's Hardy, a Laszlo Har Now, if you do not mind, I am very busy preparing for my upcoming campaign. Uh, okay, Miss Mayor, I I I understand. Well, yeah, I'll I'll be in town all week should you wish to discuss upgrading your alarm system. This is the last one. Mhm. If I need some liniment, I shall let you know. Goodbye, Mr. Humphrey. Uh, actually, it's uh, Thank you, ma'am. Now, getting back to my campaign. I suppose it is past time to introduce myself to those businessmen from Chicago. Our conversation about their political stance is long overdue. Also, I should swing by the church. Make sure that Father Jenkins and his flock are not shifting their allegiances last minute. Oh! They will be safer here out of your reach. I could easily win the presidential race on my own merits, but a little extra help never hurts. It's Particularly when it was given to you directly by the FBI. These documents are my key to the Oval Office, metaphorically speaking, of course. Leave the book alone. Nothing is going on that would require such extreme measures. Okay. Chuck is exactly where he wants to be. Chuck has so many amazing experiences in his life. It was such an honor when he came out of retirement to work here. Okay, jetzt haben wir mit ihr spielen, haben wir spielen schon mal viele Möglichkeiten, die ins Ofen stehen. Ein Bauplan. The Hangar 84 Expansion Blueprint. I love the words top secret. Knowing things that others do not is so satisfying. <laughs> Proclamation of the of the mayor. Ay, ay, mayor, okay. The mayor. Rin. Was going to say in English, not that this is 
Ding glaube ich gar nicht, gell? Mit den Artikeln, ne? Mit. Ja, da ist Mayor, Mayor, ne? Da gibt es keine Mayorin oder Majorin, sondern das ist Bürgermeister. Aber es ist männlich, so oder als männlich als Weibling. I can win the next election on my own. If you do okay. not believe me, just wait. I will show you. I will show everybody. I have nothing to say to the townspeople at the moment. So just keep it shut. Schade. Mit ihren Ballerinas. What should I do first? <laughs> Joseph told me earlier he saw the barber and his associate hanging in the park. That could be a good starting point. However, I could visit Father Jenkins since the church is right around the corner. Do not touch, don't touch. Oh, that gives me a headache. Ah. Okay, you got it. First, you nail this rope. Prove yourself, it's still the show. Second, you land the lead next year and... <clears throat> Whoa! Hi, Liz! <clears throat> I mean, who are you? I suppose the electoral propaganda failed to give you a clue. I am Mayor Eliza Barrett, and you are... Jeff Emmett! <clears throat> Wilberforce Peyton Millhouse III. Really? There's more than one Wilberforce Peyton Millhouse? Not Milhouse. anymore. <laughs> are you feeling all can right, Milhouse Mr. Milhouse Peyton? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. First week and all. What can I do for you, Miss Mayor? <laughs> Funny, Mr. Peyton, but I do not recall hiring you. Of course not. The studio hired me. Studio? Did I say studio? I meant the sheriff. Sorry, it's just the uh, jet lag. Come on, Jeff. I know it's the first week, but get it together. Since you are new in town, you must learn the local traditions. One of them being to vote for me in the upcoming election. Vote for you? But I just got here. Shouldn't I know what my options are first? Mr. Peyton, you have two options. Vote for me or open the mystery box. Ooh, mystery box. What's inside? Well, I am not really supposed to tell anyone, but for one of our brave firefighters. Inside the box is a pair of silver bracelets, a parade with you at the head and Sheriff Coltrane escorting you, and a free <laughs> one-way ticket out of town. Oh. Oh. Huh? Yeah, uh, on second thought, I will definitely not be taking the mystery box. I am glad we understand each other. Keep up the good work. Miss Mayor, before you leave, Would you tell me the story of Don't Touch? Don't Touch was a very special bear. Brave, gentle, wise. He had a true gift for stealing people's hearts. He died, a victim of the fires he fought so hard to extinguish. He had already gotten most of the townsfolk and his cubs to safety. And we could all see he was on his last legs when he saved Sam. But then, he rushed back into the building, and it collapsed on top of him. That's horrible! Poor don't touch. You have some big shoes to fill, Mr. Peyton. Do not disappoint. A leaking fire hydrant. Why have I not fixed it yet, you ask? Because this way, I can promise to reduce public water expenses by 20% in my next term. <laughs> Leave fire hydrants to dogs, children, and firefighters. In the gunnet here, huh? Re-elect Mayor Barrett. If it ain't broke, don't swap horses. Eliza Barrett. You say corruption like it's a bad thing. There is no rest for the wicked. Okay. The last thing my campaign <laughs> needs is for the paparazzi to catch me digging through the garbage. Also dürfen wir nach Hause. Ja, dann gehen wir mal zu ihm gerne. Bin ich schon hier. Wenn er da. Warum eiern? 
Ja, det är. Oh, det är andra. Mayor Barrett, you blasphemous, self-absorbed, treacherous heathen. Ah, you have a lot of nerve walking in here. And here I thought the church accepted everyone, despite their past sins. Clearly, you priests are all talk and no trousers. <laughs> Good to see you, old fiend. Enough compliments, Father. I expect you know why I am here, correct? I don't need messages from the Divine to figure this one out. It's been almost four years since the election, so... Hmm. Remember the day you decided to become a priest? Huh. Like it was yesterday. I, uh, I, I thought I was a dead man. My life flashed before my eyes and everything. But uh, I prayed to the Lord and I was saved. I think your exact words were, God, I know I might have strayed a bit. Okay, maybe a lot. But for the love of everything I hold dear, if you save me, I will devote my life to you. And you guys showed up two seconds later. <sighs> If I had only waited two more seconds. <laughs> what were you doing on that volcano? I mean, I know what was happening, but not what you did to incite it. I was an innocent young man, wide-eyed and new to the world. I just left home to go on Rumspringer. Maybe I was running a little wild with all the partying, the illegal buggy races, the women, <laughs> okay. the drinking, the okay, gambling, the men, the cobra fights. Yes, perhaps just a tad. Oh, it's no cute. regrets, Eliza. No regrets at all. Uh, except for not calling the chieftain's daughter back. <laughs> that was an oops. Hmm. What mystifies me is that you would discard your newfound freedom so easily. And to the same old boring and unoriginal god. You should have taken up the Hawaiian deities. Now those are interesting. Hey, turning water into wine is pretty interesting if you ask me. This is with Kuka Ohaya Laka, the god of Hula. What about Kuka Ohayalaka, the god of Hula? What could he do? Challenge Jesus to a dance-off? Actually, I think I would enjoy seeing that. <laughs> Jesus would win, obviously. After all, he is all-powerful. Oh, and what would his signature move be? The crisscross? You think mocking religion will carry you through this discussion? If Jesus could carry the sacred cross, I can carry this conversation. Are you proud of yourself for that one? Yes, I would say I nailed it. Eliza, enough with the heresy. Hmm. Are you tired of always serving the same dry wafers every communion? Have you ever wondered if there is a more appealing option? Oh no, not again. Eliza, we've been over this. I know you don't want to lose your corporate sponsorship, but... Why not switch to the rich, sweet, creamy taste of Twonkies? Twonkies. <laughs> One bite, and you will know that heaven is real. My answer is still no. <sighs> How many more times do we have to go through this? Well, well I have a lifetime contract, so... Uh-huh. So, same time next year? Same time next year. I am Eliza Barrett, and I approve this message. Okay. <clears throat> Something has been on my mind lately. Mm, little <clears throat> Elizabeth, I assume? She's not so little anymore, and I feel like I am losing control over her. She even started working at Michael's. Can you believe it? Mm, well, with pastoral counseling, you have two options. One, we try to work through your issues using a combination of common sense and advice. Two, we can just grab that exorcism in a box I have in back and... <laughs> Let us say I am considering the exorcism. I'm here to answer all your questions. 
What comes in the kit? Uh, just the standard equipment. Some holy Batraca trucks and water, a stake carved from the cross Jesus was crucified on, a pistol with 13 silver bullets, the tips and tricks for novice exorcists booklet, and the phone number for the Vatican customer service hotline. Do you have any non-lethal solutions? I'm afraid the Vatican does not deal in half-hearted measures when it comes to things like these. What does the exorcism itself entail? It's a very simple process. First, we tie the victim to the bed and stand way back. Next, we splash her with holy water. Once the vomit dries up and the head stops spinning, <laughs> we repeat the process. Sometimes you gotta go like three or four rounds of the spinning and puking before it stops. How grotesque. Please continue. Now, if that doesn't work, we have to take more aggressive measures. Stake through the heart is the usual method, followed by burning at the stake. And if that fails, there's the classic silver bullet to the head. <laughs> Foolproof. And what if we would rather not kill her? You might want to ask a different denomination in that case. <clears throat> are you sure there are no other options? You asked for my opinion, and my personal recommendation is torture. I have a ton of alternatives. Judas Cradle, Blood Eagle, Tickle Torture, Chinese Water Torture... Father, might that be based on her hitting you with a cross in front of the congregation last week? No. Hmm. I suppose I could just talk about it. <sighs> Killjoy. Hmm. I think the biggest problem is her academic performance. She is not doing so well in school. I see. Have you tried talking with her teachers? Of course I have. But according to Dr. Dixon, and I quote, she's thicker than frozen peanut butter. Uh, have you considered homeschooling? You're supposed to give me hope, Father, not make me despair. <laughs> no teacher in the country was willing to accept the position. I even had to import the new principal from Australia. At this point, I am considering sending her to a nunnery. Anything but that, Eliza. If your daughter were to join the church, she would turn it on its head. Her antics will bring chaos into the house of God. And what's worse, she'll probably finagle her way into becoming Pope. Hmm. I admit that would be bad for the faithful. But it would also create marvelous networking opportunities for me. Hmm. How can I make her stop working at Michael's? Perhaps try telling her to stop. As if she would listen. Besides, knowing her, she would end up owning her own franchise and become wildly successful. Just to spite me. <laughs> but wait, wouldn't that actually be a good thing? Yeah, Not helping, father. Not helping. Hmm. I trust your congregation knows who is the best option to continue leading this town. <laughs> Straight to the point and always self-serving. Two of your most charming characteristics. I completely agree. But enough flattery. I need an answer well, to my question. Candidate. You know I've always supported you, Eliza. Uh, that said, uh, to be honest, I feel as though it might be time for a change. Remember that time you were stuck on that Hawaiian volcano? When your life was hanging by a thread? Who was there to help you in your time of need? Is it too much to ask for a simple favor? Eliza, I... Do not think of me as a politician right now, but as a friend. I want the best for you and the best for me. And, coincidentally, the best for both of us is also what is best for our town. You have a very special gift with words, always have. Very well, you have my support, and I'll make sure the congregation knows who to vote for. Uh, that said, I will need time to persuade them. How much time are we talking about? Hmm, shouldn't take too long. Come back tomorrow and I'll give you a status report. Glad we are on the same page. <laughs> Eliza, I may have my doubts about you occasionally, but I know you really do want what's best for all of us. Heck, if you ran for Pope, I'd even vote for you then. 
Maybe someday, but the presidency comes first. Besides, I do not care for the hat. <clears throat> okay, so we fought the okay. Oh, Tell me, it. father, how do you keep your flock so loyal to, to you? Well, uh, we have a lot of programs aimed at benefiting our community. There are seminars, motivational talks, pamphlets, information sessions. <laughs> it sounds like you are doing plenty. And that's not all. We have launched an amazing remote conversion program in cooperation with the army. I have so many questions. <laughs> and I would gladly answer them all. Okay. What kind of seminars are we talking about? Oh, we offer many kinds, uh, ranging from marital advice to living a pious life. We even discuss science in some sessions. Okay. What do the marriage seminars cover? We examine a lot of common relationship issues. I wish we had that one when you were younger, frankly. Excuse me? I mean, don't you miss being married? Listen to me, and listen well, father. My divorce has brought me more happiness than almost anything else in my life. Life was hell back then, compared to now. And sometimes you have to go through hell to get to heaven. Dear Lord, Eliza, I could use that in the seminars. Fine. I expect a royalty check within 30 days. Living a pious life? What a dull subject. It's basically a series of reminders that if you don't behave according to the Holy Scriptures, you, well, you know, go to hell. So much for instilling hope in your flock. Well, after three hours of striking terror in their feeble hearts and minds, we eventually reach the Q&A. That's where I really shine. What can we do to avoid going to hell, Father? And then comes the talk about redemption through donation. Clever. It's more polite to call it a tithe, but yeah. A science seminar? Is the church finally emerging from the Middle Ages? That seminar examines and disproves many of the fallacies of modern science. So, just to be clear, when you say fallacies, you mean... Debunking asinine theories, of course. The Big Bang, gravity, evolution, dinosaurs. You know, all those things you really can't see or prove. That is quite funny, coming from someone who worships an all-powerful figure who no one has ever seen. <laughs> With the number of seminars you hold, I'm surprised none are about the apocalypse. Oh, we do have one. It's the Four Horsemen Sin Seminar. However, that's not a class so much as a front. A front? For what? Me and three other local clergymen play poker in the church basement. So, I gather that means you are still struggling with your gambling problem. I don't have a gambling problem. In fact, I bet you five grand right here that I don't. My dear friend Edgar told me a fascinating rumor the other day. Apparently, some former Navy man is starting a wild new religion. What have you heard about it? It's not a religion so much as a cult based around evading taxes. As opposed to? Uh, not funny, Eliza. These guys make the Mormons look reasonable and grounded. Do they now? The hell they do. Enough of this topic. Okay. Tell me about those pamphlets. They advertise our weekly meetings to discuss our Lord and Savior Jesus. Do you also have one on leprechauns? Don't be silly, Eliza. Everyone knows those are extinct. <laughs> really? But just the other day, Amos said one of them made off with his pot of gold. May the Lord be with us. I'll need a week to prepare. Uh, let's see. We need steaks, holy water, protein bars, bottled water. Are you sure you can handle a hunt at your age? I could use that pot of gold. <laughs> Thanks to your daughter, I've had to replace that stained glass at least six times. What can you tell me about your military work? I suppose you mean our holy flock of the sacred drop operation? Hmm. 
Go on, then. Tell me. What are they? Crusader pigeons or something? <laughs> what a ridiculous idea. Where would we get pigeon-sized chainmail? Father, <laughs> you are looking away from me. You know, that is a pretty weak avoidance strategy. Do you really think I cannot extract this information from you? Oh, God damn. Uh, I mean, fine. I'll tell you. Just don't do that. And don't spread this around either, all right? It's an elite flock of specially trained pigeons. They oh, carry the word of God there. and drop it to those in need. Unfortunately, we've suspended the project for extra training. Apparently, they're dropping something other than books. It would seem the name was more appropriate than initially expected. You mentioned motivational talks? Oh, let me tell you, those motivational speeches really get the blood pumping. Honestly, they're the main reason this church is still going. I do not mean to be rude, but this church is empty whenever I stop by. Who is attending your speeches? Attending? Oh, you've got the wrong idea. I give the talks to myself in front of the mirror every morning. Without them, I would have quit this job years ago. Is your faith not reason enough to wake up each morning and face the day? Faith doesn't pay the bills, Eliza. Okay. You know, Father, I have come to a realization. It might finally be time for me to confess my misdeeds and seek forgiveness for my sins. <laughs> you almost got me, Eliza. <laughs> One day, maybe. <laughs> I think it's too late for you. I was under the impression that anyone who confessed was granted absolution for their sins. Well, that's true, but... Well, if we start right now, we might be able to finish before one of us dies from old age. Then let us not. I have too much to do today. Hmm. Father, perhaps it is time for you to take a vacation. Thank you for your concern, Eliza, but I'm fine. My flock needs me, and I have sworn to serve them. Well, if you change your mind. I have heard Cancun is lovely this time of year. Well, even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Vow of poverty, remember? How could I afford that? Is that not what the little ritual with the plate is all about? I believe it is time I return to my duties. Go then, and may God watch over you. Okay. I do not have the time to play around. I hate having to ask Pius for favors, but this pipe organ secured the religious vote in the last election. That is a one-way ticket to the hospital. Oh, Got to do what? I remember the old sequoia trees we used to have in town. Good to see the tallest one is still hanging around. Pride, avarice, lust, envy, and wrath. Five out of seven is not bad. But I should return after I have collected the whole set. Confess your sins, and all is forgiven. To think they used to charge for this. I hate when good business ideas go to waste. Okay. Sammeln wir mit ihnen nichts ein? Are you crazy? Do you know how many people have put their hands in there? How to monetize tap water? Bottle it and sell it as holy water. Shame Father Jenkins has no head for business. Okay. Then we have this also cleared up. Ah, das ist die Statue noch komplett. Und das ist. You're late with the shipment again. That's the third time this month. I'm honestly surprised I made it out of there. Filthy nut smugglers. They're becoming smarter and more organized by the day. <laughs> What are your orders? 
Take the secret route down to Ciudad Juarez. That should buy us some extra time. Aye, aye, ma'am. What's the door? Free wigs. An offer you can't refuse. Limited time only. Offer not valid in the state of Maine and the U.S. Virgin Islands. May not be combined with the free mustache coupon. Cannot be used in the event of a bioweapon attack leading to an outbreak of a pandemic virus. Transmitted via bites or contact with bodily fluid that causes human corpses to reanimate and seek to consume living human flesh, blood, brain, or nerve tissue. Yeah. If you must force me to steal a work of art, let it be one of actual value, like a Monet or Van Gogh. Let me some thinking. Some the mommy? What an uninspired title. What is there to fear about a mother? <laughs> How does one even produce an ape man? Hmm. I suppose that explains Michael. Where are the nuts again? In X Men. A statue in honor of Sheriff Pat Garrett, the most important person to ever come out of this town. At least until I came along. Was ist von uns einmal Statue hier stehen? Amos's conspiracy theories before lunchtime? Let me first find a tinfoil hat. Wir dürfen wahrscheinlich rein, weil dann könnten wir wirklich sehen, wer da, wer da wirklich ist, Sheriff ist, ob es wirklich ist oder nicht. Das bleibt ja scheinbar noch ein Geheimnis. I am contractually obligated to say the following. <clears throat> Twonkies are a part of a balanced breakfast. I eat them every day, and so should you. Are you really in the mood for jibber-jabber? Okay, but remember, I tried to warn you. Lorraine, I have some things to discuss. Well then, I'm all ears. So, my dear. Nope. You do not even know what I was going to say. You were going to ask me if Tucker and I were voting for you in the next election. Well, that just proves how little you know about me, Lorraine. What I was actually going to say was... Why? Why would you say you would not vote for me? Have I not served the good people of my community well? My sacrifices, my struggles, all have been for the betterment of our great town. Where eagles soar across the desert sky like winged messengers of freedom itself. Wow, bravo, Eliza. What a stirring speech. It was very persuasive. Still a no for me, though. Lorraine, oh, about what happened to you last door. <laughs> Eliza? I'm sorry to be so blunt, but get your head on straight. Your kid's a sweetheart, but she should never have access to a wrecking ball. Come now, Lorraine. You know my offspring would never do anything to you. She adores you. Oh, is that why she jumped out of the driver's seat and yelled, Suck it, fruit lady! This is what you get for marking up your tronkies! How could a wrecking ball cause an explosion of that magnitude? What in the name of Hamilton's Holy Quill did you have in that basement? Just some fireworks left over from last 4th of July. You were telling me that massive explosion was because of some sparklers? Well, they were very high quality. Going back to that unfortunate yeah, incident with the store. Yeah, there are many low-caliber fruits. <laughs> so low-caliber fruits, is this this low-carb? I think it's like a fruit of sugar, how should this go? Weil Zucker ist ja auch Carbs, ne? So eine Energie. Nur schneller. Äh, schnellwertig, ne? Die schnell ins Blut geht. Ah. How much did you lose in terms of produce? Fifty dollars? Fifty dollars? More like five million. <coughs> acorns. <laughs> yes, a year's worth of acorns. 
Look on the bright side. The only bright thing in this mess was the white flash that took my star from me. Oh, do not be so melodramatic, Lorraine. Town Hall paid for the building. You are in a better spot. And Amos is nearby, should you need assistance. Joy. Mm. I usually let Amos handle this sort of thing. Oh, oh, no, no, dear. No need to bother the sheriff about this. Everything's just fine. Going back to that unfortunate incident with your store. I think it is time to settle your complaint about the construction plans. Mm hmm Sure. You can start by telling me your plans for the third floor of my building. It is just a plan B in case my attempts to return the orphans to Corona fall through. Oh, I know how your plans pan out, Eliza. Which means your plan C is dropping those kids in my lap. You should give it a chance. Children are the most precious gift we can receive. Look me in the eye and say that again, Eliza. Say it like you mean it. You will not saddle me with several mouths to feed for the next ten years just because it's convenient for you. Now give me back my shark tank. Shark tank? Why would you ever want a shark tank? What are you? Some sort of spy movie villain? I usually let Amos handle this sort of thing. Oh, oh, no, no, dear. No need to bother the sheriff about this. Everything's just fine. Mm -hmm. I shall see you another time, Lorraine. Of course. Eliza, wait. Don't you think there's something we should go over before you leave? It's that time of year, after all. Christmas? Nonsense. That's still a few months away. Don't play coy with me, Eliza. Now, let's take it from the top, shall we? <laughs> <clears throat> well, 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 isn't this a beautiful day? It sure is, dear. But something's missing. You're right. What I really need to feel complete as a person is something sweet and yummy. Don't worry, I've got just the thing for you. Twonkies! Twonkies? Wow! Sounds delicious! Here, have a bite! Mmm! That's exactly what I've been missing all my life! I am Mayor Eliza Barrett, and I approve these Twonkies! Shandy <laughs> That wasn't so bad, was it, dear? <sighs> At least this cursed endorsement pays for all the offspring's messes. Sehr gut. Sehr, sehr gut. Ja, Freunde, wir sind ja schon wieder fast bei 40 Minuten. Wir haben diesmal wirklich fast mit Dialog wieder mal. I already purchased my groceries this week. And I stocked up on my offspring's favorites. Oh, These prices die are ridiculously low. Lorraine needs to start charging more. Otherwise, with how little she pays in taxes, I will never be able to finance Barrettland. <lacht> ja, okay. Na, wir werden die Folge beenden. Nächste Folge werden wir weiter uns noch durchquälen durch die Stadt mit Fragen. Und dann werden wir sehen, was bei rumkommt. Auf jeden Fall sage ich danke fürs Zusehen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.